Hello everyone, I hope all of you are fine and doing great. I am here with another new video and my today's topic is linking verb. Linking verb adds details about the subject of the sentence. It simply connects the subject and the complement. Complement means like some sort of any kind of information about the subject. It creates a link between subject and complement instead of showing action. Now you have to keep one thing in mind that in the previous topic we discussed about action verbs and today it's turn of linking verbs. Linking verbs are not considered as action verbs. They are the source of link between the subject and the complement but it does not show any kind of physical activity. Generally linking verbs are called be verbs which are is, am, are, was and were. For example, act, feel, remain, appear, become, seem, smell, sound, grow, look, prove, stay, taste, turn, etc. Now some verbs in this list can also be action verbs. But to figure out if they are linking verbs, it should be replaced with the forms of be verbs. If the chain sentence makes sense, the verb is called a linking verb. Let me explain it in a bit detail. Like if you use any of the word from this given list, you might feel that this is a source of an action. But if it confuses you, you have to keep one thing in mind that these verbs will only be considered as linking verbs if we replace them with be verbs. How? Let us see. For example, she appears ready for the game. Now if you read out this statement, it seems that appears is an action verb. So how come you are able to say this that this is a linking verb because if you change this sentence with the helping verb. For example, she is ready for the game. Now both the sentences have same meaning. She appears ready for the game and she is ready for the game. So in this situation, this appears is considered as a linking verb. Because if you just uh, look at this sentence or you just think about this sentence or this word appears, it is not a physical activity. So it is a linking verb. It is a source of creating a link between the subject and the complement of the sentence. Next sentence, the food seemed delicious. Now, as far as a sentence structure is concerned, the food is your subject, seemed is your verb and delicious is again your adjective or a complement. But if you change, if you can change this seemed or if you can replace this word seemed with any kind of be verbs, so you will get to know that this seemed is not a physical activity or physical action, it is a linking verb. So let me replace this seemed with a be verb. The food was delicious. So both the sentences have same meaning and seemed and was, these both are the verbs that are used within these sentences. So seemed here is a linking verb and it is connecting the subject that is the food with its complement that is delicious. Another example, you look happy and its replacement is you are happy. So look is a linking verb. It feels cold. Now feels, it's not an action verb here and if I can replace it with any kind of helping verb or be verb, it is cold, so it is a linking verb here. That tastes good. Now, if it, this sentence is only in front of you, so you will think that taste is an action word or it's a kind of physical activity, but you have to keep one thing in your mind that if it is replaced with any kind of be verb, so then it's not an action verb, it is a linking verb here. So this sentence can be replaced like this that that is good or this is good. So this was all about linking verbs. Linking verbs 
connect subject with the complement most of the students asked me about the subject complement and the object complement so subject complement and object complement are almost kind of adjectives they tells you something about they tell you something about subject or they tell you something about object so in that case they are considered as complements of the subject and object i hope you will understand the linking verbs i'll be there with my next video soon until then take care bye bye